welcome back. Not that long ago, we did a video where we took some mimosa leaves and plowed them under in a few beds as an experiment to see if it would work as a fertilizer. This was the bed. This is the bed, which we put the mimosa leaves into. Right here, and it ends here with that weedy patch that we should have weeded. And then here is the bed, which we did not put mimosa leaves into. So what are we seeing? No mimosa leaves, which should be very high in nitrogen, it being a leguminous nitrogen fixer. And we put a five gallon bucket in one of these beds. And here is the bed with mimosa leaves. You know what it looks like to me? If we look at these two beds side by side here, it looks to me like the bed without is doing better than the bed with. And interestingly, in the bed where we put the mimosa leaves, we actually have a couple of plants bolting. One there, and one here. So our glorious experiment, which I thought would, very obviously with so much green matter full of nitrogen being applied over the entire surface of the soil, I, I thought that would have made these better. But if you look, let's take a look at these, for example, right here. Those are kohlrabis. That's a cat rabi. Look at these kohlrabis in comparison. These did not receive the mimosa leaves. Okay, super strange, huh? I see thicker, happier growth over here with no mimosa leaves. So is there an allelopathic effect? Good question. Could it be something else? Also a good question. We may have to try this again in a couple of beds and see what happens, but these beds were treated the same way, except that this bed actually, which had the mimosa leaves, probably got a little bit more sun in the morning because of the effect of the giant trees over here, this bed would have gotten a little more later light. And this bed got earlier light. But it's looking like putting mimosa leaves down as a fertilizer is probably not best practice, at least from this preliminary test. So if any of you guys have tried it. I would love to hear about it. You know, we're just going around reading about the uses of nitrogen fixtures and experimenting with it and seeing what happens. But Albizia juliburson's leaves applied in a five gallon bucket to this bed right here actually did not help. And in fact, it may have made things worse this bed which had none this is our control bed so for those of you that wanted an update that is the update thanks for watching uh, we have a freeze coming pretty soon here it looks like so we're gonna be prepping for that so this video is just a video filmed on my wife's phone without anything fancy whatsoever but just a quick experiment update for you guys thanks for watching catch y'all next time and until then your thumbs always be green.